calcium carbonate is mined as minerals in many countries and annually processed in millions of tons. Its natural availability is combined with exceptional properties, including a high whiteness, up to 98%, inertness to most chemicals, the ability to improve the mechanical properties of polymer compositions, and even antibacterial properties in the nanoform. For this very reason, calcium carbonate is widely used in the wood pulp, chemical, pharmaceutical, food manufacturing, and construction industries. It can be used as a filler in the production of paper, plastics, rubber, paints, inks, or sealants. However, prior to use for these purposes, calcium carbonate should normally be ground to a certain dispersion degree. The degree of particle dispersion directly affects the compatibility of calcium carbonate with a polymer base or other type of bases, the mechanical characteristics of composite, its optical properties, adhesion, wear resistance, and even refractory quality. In this regard, there are two techniques most commonly used in the manufacturing industry, coarse grinding and precipitation. Precipitated calcium carbonate is produced by chemical precipitation from aqueous solutions and features a much finer particle size and a higher purity, but its production is far more expensive. Therefore, in many cases, manufacturers try to produce fine calcium carbonate by mechanical means. However, achieving the desired particle size and a stable shape without agglomeration poses a challenge to conventional grinding methods. Ball mills, vibratory mills, jet-type mills, or planetary mills do not always ensure the proper level of dispersion at a reasonable consumption of power and resources. Most of these technologies are power-consuming, cumbersome, and associated with high noise levels, while the resulting product often requires additional stages of separation, drying, or processing. In view of the above, Globecore professionals have developed a technology for fine grinding of calcium carbonate with the use of AVS vortex layer machines. Vortex layer machines are electromagnetic vortex mills that operate on the basis of an induction field. Ferromagnetic particles rotate inside the non-magnetic operating chamber and form a dynamic vortex layer when exposed to an alternating electromagnetic field. In this active zone, the material is intensively dispersed, ground, and activated, which results from numerous collisions of ferromagnetic particles with one another, with the chamber walls, and with the material processed. A special feature of vortex layer machines involves the ability to precisely control the processing time and, consequently, the degree of particle dispersion. The longer the calcium carbonate remains in the machine's operating chamber, the finer its particles become. Thus, various size fractions can be achieved, from several tens of microns to one micron and even finer, which allows adapting the final product to specific technological needs. Another advantage of AVS machines is that they allow grinding, as well as activating the surface of particles. During the mineral structure destruction, new active centers open up, which increases the reactivity of calcium carbonate and improves its ability to interact with polymer matrices, binders, or dispersion systems. In addition to grinding efficiency, globe core vortex layer machines are distinguished by easy operation, compact dimensions, and energy efficiency, because depending on the model, one machine consumes not more than 9.5 kilowatts of active power. Globe core vortex layer machines can be easily integrated into the existing mineral grinding lines to replace large dimensioned and noisy mills. A further advantage of AVS is its versatility. The equipment efficiently operates in both dry and wet grinding media. In a wet medium, additional mechanisms for impact on the material are activated. Dispersion, electrolysis, hydrodynamic forces, and acoustic vibrations. It allows achieving a higher grinding quality and an increased reactivity of processable material. Moreover, dry grinding in a vortex layer has its own advantages, simplified process when there is no need to dehydrate and dry the material after processing. The vortex layer machines can endure long-term operation, up to 40 years and beyond, do not require frequent maintenance, and allow for processing of calcium carbonate, as well as other minerals, pigments, powders, catalysts, and sorbents. Thus, the use of Globecore AVS vortex layer machines for calcium carbonate grinding not only ensures the process efficiency and flexibility, 
but also significantly improves the quality of final product, increasing its market value. And what kind of equipment do you use for calcium carbonate grinding? Share your experience of using this equipment in the comments section. More information on the Globecore technology and equipment for calcium carbonate grinding can be found by following the link in the first comment or visiting our website, www.globecore.com.